Yeah, not recently actually. Yeah, <laughs> five after eleven o'clock. Think about that. Uh, five, uh, six after eleven o'clock. It is thirteen degrees downtown, heading for a high. The weatherman said fifteen degrees today. Cloudy. It has been a bit of a struggle, but I still have faith we're going to get to eighteen degrees. And uh, Barbara this morning in the breakfast show predicted nineteen degrees. So it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out for the rest of the day. Tuesday, June 16th, and I'm absolutely elated to be able to say to you, Jordane Culpepper is joining us live today, and believe me, coming out of British Columbia, you're going to absolutely love, love, love Jordane. But in the meantime, we better do this first. Galaxy. Galaxy. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and well, it's been a busy day, it really has, so let's move on very, very quickly, and off the album Artist in Isolation, here is Jordan Culpepper. <laughs> All the girls here love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How does that feel? Because I just get tolerated. I love it. <laughs> nice. <It's> fun. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, it started with the toilet. It started with the toilet. Yeah, I walked in on a bit of toilet humor. Do you want to explain this to oh, me? Oh, look, they had the uh, toilet door open, which is this one over here. Oh, I and see. And I can see the toilet. Right. Yeah. Do, so, do you have to sign in every time you go? I, I see the blackboard there. <laughs> That's where I write all my thoughts and projects that I'm working on and try and keep track of things. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, second brain. I get it. Yeah, I like to see things when I look around. I'm like, that's what I gotta do, and yeah. Yep, yep. I, I I get it, bro. I'm pretty much something similar to be. Do you know honest. what I do? I just email myself. Yeah, Barbara emails herself. That's what I have to. You know, that that's <laughs> the new way of talking to yourself, isn't it? I can't do that. The digital world, I lose it. I'll forget about it. If it's on the wall, I'll remember it and I'll do it. But. Okay, well, you, you and my wife would get on well because she leaves me notes on the fridge. <laughs> I leave post-it notes everywhere for myself. I keep a stack right here all the time. Love that. Thoughts come down. I got post-it notes everywhere. Love that. to come to the that. modern world. Yeah, uh, well, you know. <laughs> anyway, let's go live to the desk. Let's have some fun. here at Galaxy 107 FM, 10 after 11 o'clock, 13 degrees downtown, not bad actually, uh, it, warmer than what it was yesterday actually downtown, uh, believe me, weatherman says 15 degrees today, I kind of disagree, I still think there's plenty of day to go, 18 degrees, mark me down for that, and when you get there, say thank you Grant, warmer, yeah, uh, but having said that, 
Barbara says 19 degrees, and well, you never know, it might get there as well. Tuesday, June 16th, I'm absolutely elated to be joined today by Jordan Culpepper, coming out of British Columbia. Hello, my friend, welcome to Galaxy. <coughs> Hello, thanks for having me, I'm stoked. Well, it's an absolute pleasure and honour to be able to meet uh, somebody of your talents and charisma, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, and uh, I hope you're not like the uh, rest of the polite Canadians over there. And I hope you give me a bit of stick through this because... <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah, I think I deserve some, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just write that down for me, will you? Give Grant stick. Yeah, you got post notes there, I know you do. Go on, write yeah, it down. I'll make a note. <laughs> make a note, that's the <laughs> one. Of course, uh, Jordan is a musician, engineer, producer, and uh, a very, very talented songwriter as well. So, let's talk straight away. We played uh, My Best Memory, and that's on the album Artists in Isolation, but I read here that you've been uh, actually planning this particular track for some time now. Now, a, why did you put it on uh, Sunny Rose's album? And B, what took you so long? Well, actually, this song, this song just came out of, I started writing it probably in February, right? No, March. March, I started writing it. Right when Sunny approached me to put this song, or put a song together on this album. And um, this, this is probably one of the easiest songs that I wrote. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of about um, a little bit of heartbreak and a lot of like loss. I, I, uh, it's kind of about my grandfather. He uh, got dementia, lost lost his mind a little bit. So it's a little bit of reference to that, and it just kind of came out. And said he approached me, and um, he um, he gave me some guidelines. He's, he's like, I want it to be as simple as possible. It's going to be an acoustic record, and I took that. And I felt this song really fit and needed that that restriction in onto it, and so it was it was a, it was a lot of fun. It was really difficult to try and make it as simple as possible, but still convey as much meaning as as, as I could on it. And it was a, it was a really good exercise and was a lot of fun to to write. Well, I I gotta uh, be honest with you, Jordan. Uh, l let's go down this road first straight away. Is Granddad still around? No, he, he passed away uh, a month and a bit ago. Uh, that's a shame, and uh, my deepest condolences for your loss, literally. Uh, but we were going to offer him a job, believe me. You have to be in that state to work here. <laughs> Honest, you do. You don't have to be nuts, but it helps. <laughs> It helps. It helps. I it love really it. does. I love it. <laughs> but having said all of that, uh, so sorry to hear that. Now... The song itself, we absolutely love, love, love it. We hadn't heard it before we met Sonny Rosa, and uh, he, t he said to me, Grant, it's on the album. It really, really is. Now, at the same time, uh, we promote the album, Artists in Isolation. Go to Bandcamp. Go to Bandcamp. Go and make a purchase. Nine ninety nine cheapest chips, really. And nine extraordinary artists on there. Everyone a winner, literally. You can't go wrong. Go to Bandcamp. Artists in Isolation. Yeah. Look for our logo on the cover as well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but we don't make a cent. And, of course, Sonny Rosen from uh, formerly Yellow House Studios doesn't either. Uh, but, he, you know, he's with uh, Rosewood Studios now. And uh, we're looking at doing another couple of records together, CDs, if you want to put it like that, or albums uh, together and promoting those. But we've been talking to artists off the album, and it's all about generating some income for these artists. Now... Uh, at the same time, as I said, we don't make a cent. Jordan here is the beneficiary. He's, he's going to make a, an absolute bomb out of this. I know it. Uh, <laughs> but Jordan, uh, Jordan. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there you go. I tripped up. I knew I would. Uh, and I pre-warned you that I would. Now, I know. how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? But more importantly, do you respond? Uh, yes, I respond, always. And I'm only on Instagram. Okay. I'm only on Instagram, under Jordan Music. Well, you know, you shouldn't have said that, because now you're going to get another 5,000 Instagram fans. You'll be there all week doing this. <laughs> Not, you won't have time to Good. do any work. I'm an, 
I'm in isolation. I need someone to talk to. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, by the way, New Zealand, we're back down to level one right now. We're just waiting to be able to uh, get the go-ahead to open the borders, go back to complete zero. Uh, 23, 24 days. 24 days, no cases, 21 deaths total. Amazing. We have done exceptionally well here in New Zealand. We really, really have, and we're very proud of it. Hope the rest of the world takes us uh, as an example. You know what I mean? Yeah, you guys have done amazing. And uh, I see in the news this morning, this is rather amusing, actually. Uh, coronavirus, declare war. This is interesting. You don't often hear coming out of the UK, declare war. The unusual plan to get Jacinda Ardern, our Prime Minister, to become British Prime Minister. <laughs> Only Britain, only, I reckon she could rule the world. I really do. You know, every yeah. country could be uh, ruled by Jacinda Ardern. We could have a Dunians. <laughs> <laughs> we could, you know, we, the world is now an Adunian. Uh, I like changing names too, by the way. Anybody that has ever seen any of my shows, I do, you know, names are subject to change. Now, I, I want you to consider this, Jordan. Are you into planets? Am I what? Into planets. Are you into yes. space and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay. Every planet that has a moon, we've named the moon. Right? We've given it a name. Yeah. Except for our own. It's called moon. <laughs> I mean... That's a good point. Yeah, I, I, I am doing a... Uh, global thing right now around the world. Guys, please, consider this. I want to rename the moon. I want to call it Celestial Body Brian. Why? Why not? It's a Celestial Body. <laughs> What's wrong with Brian? <laughs> it's so simple. Yeah, it's better than moon. We can name it something really extravagant and extra. Okay, you know, uh, uh, up for a second name. Yeah, I'll think about that. Yeah. Think you of know. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, once upon a time, people thought it was made of cheese. Why can't it be a female name? <laughs> <laughs> they did. Yeah. They really did. Uh, believed it was cheese, you know. Couldn't figure out where the Eden went. <laughs> <laughs> there could be cheese. It's been a long time since we've been there. Well, yeah, yeah. Do we still believe Neil Armstrong or don't we? Mm. Uh, that's still up for debate too. Yeah, is he the world's greatest man or is he the biggest liar? <laughs> Best actor, maybe. But, yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> hey, if I had the money here, and I'd stay dumb as well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy. There's nothing greater because it keeps the longevity of the whole deal right there. People talking about it. It really does. It's great. I love it the conspiracy. Does. You know? uh, even, Donald, amazing. even Donald Trump has a space force now. A space yeah. army, you know? So therefore he's admitting, yes, there's aliens, and yes, we might be, have to be concerned. <laughs> you, you know what's created that, though, don't you? No. That's that second life force on top of his head. <laughs> I love it. I, I was wondering if they gave it an extra room in, in the White House at night, you know? What do they name it and what the hell do they feed it? He's got one. Uh, Big Max. Day of the week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, why not? They've yeah. given, given it a big don. <laughs> <laughs> they have. Oh, man. Oh, you got to love somebody. Yeah, just got to love somebody. Tell me about love somebody. Love somebody. Okay. That song, this one I've been working on for a very, very long time. It's been three years maybe in the making. And it was my realization that the girl that I was dating with um, probably shouldn't be dating her. And that was kind of my, my processing of my, my feelings and emotions was this song. And that maybe... Yeah, yeah. I get Does that it. that make sense? <laughs> yeah, I, I get it, actually. Yeah. But, but, you know, how, how the hell do you tell your friends that she's a monster? 
<laughs> I mean, and it was it was a lot of a self reflection of myself too. It was like a reflection of myself, from, and it, it flip flops. And for me, I, I follows the story, but to like anybody who doesn't know it, it kind of it's up for interpretation. I think. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I got to be yeah. honest with you, Jordan. I yeah. love love somebody. I really do. So right here at Galaxy 107 FM is Jordan Culpepper and Love Somebody. <laughs> How are you feeling, bro? You feeling good? Oh, kia ora, bro. Nice. <laughs> nice. Callum's Callum online. Callum's online. Oh, your buddy's online. Callum's on, eh? Yeah, he is. Yeah, well, I suppose nice. We, I suppose we better behave now, right? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no way! Um, by the way, I have a uh, an on-air producer who talks to me, gives me stats, bits of information through my headphones all the time. Um, and she, I really online. do have a voice in my head. I, I do. <laughs> it's not imaginary. Yeah, no. no. But the thing is, I'm married to it. What's your wife? Yeah, my wife is my voice in my head. Tell him to look on his <laughs> yeah. um, um, messenger it, page for not enough. Okay, okay I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, um, yeah oh, believe me, Instagram. she talks to me all the The weird oh, thing, bro, is not only Instagram. is my yeah, voice, voice in my head Instagram. my wife, yeah. but they pay her to do it. Because that's what I have to do. She's got it figured out. She totally. <laughs> oh, well, we she really does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want a job like that. <laughs> and you're paid to listen to her. Uh, that's a matter of uh, discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do use the information that's given to me when it's given to me in appropriate God, times. Or not? I mean, <laughs> bro. Anyway, I want to talk to you. Uh, I'm just wondering if you would consider maybe coming to New Zealand and playing in front of New Zealand audiences. Can we talk about that? We can talk about that. I think New Zealand's beautiful. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, but as I, as There's you're only learning, five million of us. us Kiwis were a bit crazy. Here. Same size as yeah. the UK, <laughs> and they have spouts. Well, it's like the fun kind of crazy. We're a little bit kind of Oh, we are whack, bro. <laughs> we are so. <laughs> but so, of course, you've got to be prepared for craziness when you come here, so you will know automatically there's a bit of a challenge that we do here. I know. We, yeah. like, we like to have a little bit of fun. Callum knows all about the hoo. Callum knows all about it. He's been down this road. Yep. Um, so, uh, it's a wonder he actually hasn't forewarned you about me. He, well, he did tell me you were crazy. Oh, but, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, you Callum. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's nothing that you haven't told me. So. Exactly. <laughs> Hello, Callum. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Callum, Callum's coming to New Zealand. We're going to do some shows with Callum as well. So, you, what say we put a, a double act? Yeah. Hell, hell of an idea. Won't be till 2021. That'll be a lot of fun. Callum yeah. and, and I play a lot together too. Oh, well, there, there you go. It's like a hand in a glove. It, it makes sense. It does. It really. No, I said a hand in a glove. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> um. So, while this COVID virus thing's been going on, I suppose you've been doing a bit of writing? No, I've been producing Kellen's next record. Oh, well, there's a good cause. A damn good cause. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, i tell you what, let's go back to the desk. Yeah, you're running out of time. Chop, kind chop. of, kind of.
Okay, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and uh, well, love somebody. It's one of those ones where you get your uh, scarf out and start waving it, isn't it? Or you light it or even your... Yeah, no, I missed the cell phone thing. I was going to do it, but never mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, I've been talking to... <laughs> Let's get it right. I was almost going to say Callum there for a minute. Of course, uh, yeah. having Callum in the background... Uh, so, we were talking about getting you down here in New Zealand, down under, coming and uh, possibly doing some shows. Now, you know, I kind of have about five shows in mind. Now, Callum's coming down and uh, we're going to do that. So, why not tag you on the bill and uh, bring you down as well? And believe me, I've got some very talented New Zealand artists that are going to uh, fill in the jigsaw, literally, and have some fun doing it. Now... We would love, love, love to be able to see you performing in front of New Zealand audiences on New Zealand stages. And uh, I, I think at the same time, maybe we, we could uh, slip you right on into Australia as well, do about a half a dozen shows there. Makes it more worthwhile, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Now, having said that, we're kind of crazy here in New Zealand. We like to have a bit of fun. Uh, so, you know, if, if it doesn't make the old ticker, go for it. At least once a day. You're not living. <laughs> what are we talking about exactly? <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you ever heard of a hoo-hoo guru? No. Okay, yeah, you're familiar with caterpillars, right? Yes. Right, this is a caterpillar on steroids. Um, like a double-decker bus to a mini. It's big. It's white, got a black head, and... What do you do with this thing? Uh, you put the live body in your mouth, rip off the head. Don't eat the head, it's yucky, but when you crunch down on this, it's like eating creamy peanut butter. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I even had... Oh my gosh! I even got really? the gulp. I got the gulp in the air this time. I, yeah, one of the first. I got the gulp. I really did. Sound effect. Loved it. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, you're familiar with white worm and the tequila, right? Uh, no. You've never tried a, a tequila with white worm? No. Okay, last swallow swallows the worm. That's the rules. Oh. It really is the oh. rules. You know, that. And believe me, I've been to Mexico and uh, I've somehow ended up with a couple of those over the period of drinking time over there. Uh, here, the indigenous folks of New Zealand, namely the Maori, uh, it's a, a delicacy. Really? Yeah, it really is. And, right. uh, well, don't worry, I'll, I'll get Barbara to send you the instructional videos so you know I'm not pulling your leg, okay? I really, really will. Yeah. But we have a thing down... Now, we're made up of three islands, right? Right down the very bottom, a little tiny island called Stewart Island. It got a name, right? Then they ran out of names and called us South and North. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't think of anything original, you know? And believe me, I've been uh, voting to rename these islands as well for many, sure. many years. You know? I really have. <laughs> but we'll stick with... The official names for now, South and North Island. We're in the North Island, we're on the East Coast, which sees the light of day first in the world. We really do. We're your, to we're your tomorrow, literally, we're Tuesday. Uh, you're still Monday, aren't you? We are, yeah. Yeah, you see? Uh, at the same time, uh, we get to play tomorrow's music today. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting edge. Yeah, look at that. I got one in there too. That, was, that worked. It really went. <laughs> but, but it's quite true. We really, really do. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'll give Barbara to send you uh, this week's lotto draw on uh, when we do it on a Saturday night. You'll get it on Friday. Go on down. Make a purchase. If you win anything, I'll go your halves. Okay, deal. Nice. <laughs> be a crazy experiment, actually, if it really would. Yeah, it'd be really good. <laughs> it really would. So, um, having said that, down in the uh, South Island, there's a place called Hokitika. They have a wild foods festival down there, and uh, they do the hoo-hoo. Now, 
Uh, I, I would suggest maybe a few of these beforehand, maybe even during, and definitely after. I really do. Uh, that way, but you got to wonder about a guy who's handing you a bowl of white wiggly worms and asking you to eat one. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. you, you, believe me, you look at the guy and go, what's your mentality? Well, you know, I can tell you right now, mine is very, very slim to none, so I'll be handing you the bowl of white worms to eat. <laughs> Straight away, I can tell you that one. Uh. Then we'll take you down to a place in the South Island called Queenstown. Now, Queenstown is a very, very boutique little town trying to be a bit of a city. It's growing, it's expanding. And uh, all the A-listers from around the world go down there to hide from all of their friends, you know what I mean? They go and take their mates and get away from their friends. Yeah. And that's the place to go. Now, uh, Shania Twain owns property down there. Uh, Kevin Costner was down there not so long ago. Uh, Keanu Reeves, same with uh, Tom Cruise. They, you know, go and hang out down there. You never know who you might run into. You don't want to run into me down there, my friend. You really don't. Because I'll throw you off a bridge. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would, actually. I would. <laughs> uh, I'm being very honest with you. We have a thing here in uh, Queenstown called bungee jumping. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, uh, you can get actually a whole sentence in before you uh, hit the water. Oh. And believe me, I've heard people swear at me from all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, both, <laughs> both sexes too by the way what that oh my god what that young woman said about me <laughs> but hey hold on uh, think of it this way you're not Australian we'll attach the bungee oh it's very that's very kind of you yeah <laughs> I appreciate that yeah we don't tell Australians that though do we <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have a love, we have a love hate thing, uh, Kiwis and Australians. We really, really do. Uh, it's a a rugby union thing. You know what I mean? Um, uh. You Canadians would maybe look at it as a uh, an ice hockey thing between Canada and America. You know? Yep. We have the All Blacks. They have the Wallabies, and well, we have all the silverware. They haven't had any for about thirty years. Keep trying. <laughs> ah. We have the All Blacks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we do. Nice. Uh, former world champions. The only reason we didn't win this time was an act of God. Really? I kid you not. In Tokyo, major storm couldn't do the game. Everything went down to, you know, like these cricket bloody scores and rules and everything like that, and we missed out. Oh. So, you know. That's a shame. No, Aww. we're proud of it. Only an act of God could stop it. <laughs> <laughs> true. Very, very true. World Cup. Go and check it out in Tokyo. It really did happen, you know. We got cycloned out. Unreal. It really did. And if you anything, uh, if you're familiar with uh, maybe cricket, well, there's a uh, a catch clause in the way they score things when they get rained off and stuff like that. And uh, well, they kind of applied that sort of terminology into the Rugby World Cup, and we missed out by just points, just points. But we'd won everything, literally. I don't know how they did it, but we got robbed. Hello, folks. I'm sorry about that, but it happened. It really did. 24 after 12 o'clock. Oh, sorry, 24 away from 12 o'clock. It is 15 degrees. We're the man's winning right now. Now I'm worried. He doesn't ever win. So we need it to get hotter. 18 degrees is what I predict today. And Barbara, of course, tipping me one more at 19 degrees. And uh, hold on. I've just got a message from... Uh, 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 Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my IT guy was messaging me to say that the messaging service had had difficulties around the world this morning. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's, not, it's nice to get the message. <laughs> thank, thank you, Mark. Yeah. And I really appreciate knowing that. Now, uh, when did he say... Oh. oh, that was about... An hour and a half ago. <laughs> You're on to it. Yeah, nice, nice to get current news. <laughs> Thank you, mate. 
<laughs> it's working now. It totally <laughs> is. So we've done the throw you off a bridge thing. Now, are you familiar with Lord of the Rings? Yes. Okay. Where my office is, where we are right here. Now, we're in between three major cities, Rotorua, Bakitari, and a shipping port called Tauranga, which is the biggest one of the lot. Uh, we're kind of smack in the middle of that. And uh, about an hour and a half's drive from where our office is right now is Hobbiton, the original set. Now, I've got to warn you, if you're coming to New Zealand or you're thinking of coming to New Zealand or even considering maybe not coming to New Zealand, uh, just let me know. Uh, just, I'll let you know, bail money. Bring some bail money. What? Yeah, you, you never know. We've got good lawyers, but you never know. You might need a little bit of ma bail money. <laughs> no. If you hang out, if you, if you hang out with me, you're going to need some bail money, literally. Uh, because you're really selling this here. I tell you, I tell you, literally, my friend, because believe me, I love to get up to a bit of, well, shenanigans. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. You, you never let me loose on set of the Hobbitons. Literally, I start going looking for orcs and all sorts of things, you know. <laughs> and before you know it, well, I'm being asked to leave. Politely at first, well, not so much by the end of the day, I can tell you. Uh, you know, police officers, helicopters, all sorts of things trained on me, trying to get me out of the place. No. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine that. Not you. Yeah, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> okay. I've had some fun times here. I have. Uh, <laughs> so we'll take you to Rotorua. Now, you're familiar with uh, Yellowstone National Park, right? All the bubbly geysers and uh, muds and all that sort of stuff. Well, Rotorua is a uh, touristy kind of uh, traditional Maori city. And uh, we'll take you up to Hell's Gate and places like that, show you around. You'll absolutely love it. You really, really will. While we're there, uh, have you ever heard of a Zorb? No. Okay, this is fun. More of this going on. We got to, you know, I'll, I'll let you know now. Uh, believe me, you'll get used to it. You will. A big round plastic ball, literally. <laughs> Put you in the so inside of it. You know, you've got to be absolutely blitz to get in there. And then we'll just <clears throat> roll you down a hill. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put some runners in front of you, you know, like uh, fast moving Skittles. You know, now the reason why the alcohol uh, and before, make, uh, if you can do it during, good on you. Uh, definitely afterwards. But uh, the reason being is when you run over their faces, the, the looks on their faces is priceless. <laughs> Well worth it being drunk. It really, really is. It's well it worth sounds it. like a puke tank, too. Well, there might be a few extra juices by the time we get you out of there, but don't worry. <laughs> we got a hose. Oh, my God. We're civilised. We got a hose. It's all good. <laughs> we'll take, oh, man. We'll, and now, I've got to ask you, uh, is there a, uh, a young lady in your life? Do you have a wife? Are you engaged? Are you uh, planning on getting engaged no no okay well barbara's good at matching up ladies and guys so uh, well <laughs> she can take care of that for you when you get here believe me you uh, <laughs> this is going to be quite the tour <laughs> if you wake up with your boots on you're going to be lucky be, this is exciting. It's going to be fun. It really is. Now we'll take you over to Australia. We've got a few uh, quirky things that we do over there as well, uh, literally. Uh, believe me, they, uh, I was over there once and this guy produced a can of beer. It had four X's on it. I went, what, you can't spell beer? <laughs> yeah. oh. It's true. It's uh, true. Uh, real. Yeah, uh, Fosters. Drink Fosters. Believe me, you can't go wrong if you're in Australia. Drink Fosters. <laughs> it's the best beer they have got. Uh, but having said that, uh, we'll do some shows over there. We'll take you to Auckland here in New Zealand. One, uh, one thing that we would love to be able to do with you is have a meal out on the harbour, literally at night time, taking the ambience, you know, a bit more of alcohol, and uh, then 
I tell you what, we'll go and do some work as well. What do you reckon? Some work? Yeah. We'll go and entertain some people. Hmm. Are you talking songs here? Yeah. We are. We are. Yeah, of course, we're <laughs> going to have Callum with us, so, you know, <laughs> we'll get you up on stage and you can start <laughs> singing, singing your heart, heart out, literally. Believe me, we'll have some yeah. fun. We really, really will. Uh, and uh, at the same time, Barbara says that she's an Olympic shopper, so we'll get some shopping in as well. Oh, good grief. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> some of those, we'll send back some of those stuffed Kiwi things. Yeah, why not? Yeah, toys and all that sort yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to New Zealand. Wish you yes. were here. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so... <coughs> For us, we are very, very happy to make your acquaintance, uh, Jordan. Tell me a little something about We Are. We Are. This song is another song I've been working on for a couple of years now. And um, this is, uh, it kind of documents my experience and thoughts of being an artist. Like... There's an off-stage me, then there's an on-stage me. And um, once I, I um, get up on stage, I'm a lot, I'm fairly extroverted and whatnot. But when I'm off stage, I'm extremely introverted. And I'll be the guy at the back of the room just kind of sitting there watching people. Not in a creepy way, but... Um, mm, yeah. I can't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've, I've heard about people like you. Yeah, but... Yeah, and so that's that's what we are to me is about, and um, yeah, just that on stage life versus off stage life. I get that. I really, really do. And believe me, uh, I'm not like this uh, in real life. Literally, I am, can be quite serious from time to time. I gotta blend in with the locals. You know what I mean? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, you, you just got to, you know, go through life invisible. So you got to blend in. And, uh, well, this doesn't kind of blend, does it? Really? Yeah. i got, <laughs> got the perfect face for radio, that's for sure. Oh, no, for, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, my friend, uh, I, I understand where you're coming from. I really, really do. And I admire you able to put that into a track. And we play it here at Galaxy. We've actually played it a number of times now, and we've had quite a response. People wanted to know more about it. And, uh, really? They really, really did. So, uh, okay, uh, 750 people have requested it since we've been playing it. Wow! That's not bad. That's not bad. Sounds good to me. Yeah, we will continue to play it. I've got to be honest with you. So, right here... At Galaxy 107 FM is Jordan, Cold Pepper, and we are. <laughs> How you feeling? You need a stiff drink here. Just finished mine. <laughs> oh shit, you better go and get another one. I'm in, <laughs> this isn't coffee. <laughs> good, good. Uh, this is. <laughs> My bosses won't let me drink at work. Oh, you got to talk to them. We just come to the other side of the room. All I have to, all I have to do is look across and I, I, I know straight away it's a no. <laughs> no. <laughs> If this is you not drinking, I can't imagine what you are drinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm more fun. More fun than More this. fun. I think you need a bigger yeah. imagination. Yeah, you, you need to expand the imagination just a, a little bit. I'm more it's fun. really quite um, quiet. Here, here's one thing to think about, actually. Uh, we were talking about the moons and everything we like that. and yeah. Okay. So if you had a car that travelled faster than the speed of light and you turned the lights on would they work? No. Well yeah they would work it's just that you wouldn't see the light. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't do you any good though. No exactly but they would work. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, have you ever heard of the band Autograph? Yes. 
Okay, Steve Lynch, a good friend of ours, said to me one day, Grant, imagine if your legs bent backwards instead of the way they do right now. How interesting chairs would be. It's hard to think. Oh, unreal. That's yes. scary, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back to the desk. We'll contemplate that one. <laughs> you wouldn't be very comfortable. We <laughs> must have been watching that movie with Nicholas Cage and... Yes. Arrival or something like that? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 12 away from 12 o'clock, it is 14 degrees downtown, scaringly close to what the weatherman said is going to be a high today, he never gets it right, that's the problem, he never does, maybe today he will, yeah, okay, <laughs> let's move on, it's Tuesday June 16th and I'm absolutely elated to be able to be joined, coming out of British Columbia by Jordane Culpepper, now, uh, I, I got to welcome you along, I really, really do, and uh, thank you for putting up with a crazy old bugger like me, as, as we say here in New Zealand, it is an absolute <coughs> pleasure to be able to speak to somebody much like yourself, um, and, and at the same time, know that uh, you're very, very accomplished as an engineer. Now, uh, you went to Nimbus School of uh, Recording, tell me a little bit about that. So, that school, I... Uh I was going to go to the University of Victoria for audio engineering, mm -hmm. and I had a friend that I worked with, and he he found this school, and he was there. He was already going there, and um, he's like, you, you should really come to this. This, this is like the end-all, be-all of recording school, and I was like, no way. So I got a tour, and it was just unreal. I met amazing people, and it was just like one of those moments where like you go there, and you're like, this is where I need to be. It was just kind of, I knew at that moment. So went there, and it was an unreal ride there was a so schools during the day and then the studios opened up at night and it was a year of not sleeping at all there was days and days where i wouldn't sleep and then i'd crash for a day and then i'd go back right at it and it was just recording being in the studio and i got some amazing connections and amazing opportunities out of it um i got to work with some of the producers that i had grown up really liking and loving the music, even meeting producers that for music that I loved that I didn't know who produced it. And I got to meet them, talk to them about that, and worked at um, some of the couple of the biggest studios in Vancouver too. I was assisting there, not assisting, I was running there. And it was it was an unreal time and it went by so fast. <laughs> Probably because I wasn't sleeping, but <laughs> but yeah. That, that was that was kind of my time at Nimbus there. Very, very, very cool. Believe me, I, I can relate. Uh, back in my day when I was a university, yeah, there was such a thing back in my day. No, no, we didn't chisel stuff onto bricks or pellets. No. <laughs> no, we didn't use, well, we did use ink back in those days, actually, but we didn't use a fountain, well, yeah, fountain pen, but not a quill. All right? Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just for those who don't know what a pen is, okay, we used to use a fountain pen, it was, you know, fill it up with ink, 
and then right, yeah, Gosh, it hadn't never noise, yeah, wow. back in the day. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I got my first SAE way back, way, way back, and uh, I was doing radio at the time, learning to be a radio announcer, and um, had the fortune of uh, being able to take part in everything else that was around it, including engineering. So uh, that was my entry level into it, and uh, I've worked some of the biggest bands in the in the country and some of the biggest bands in the world, literally, uh, and have loved every single minute of it. I really, really have. And I'm talking <coughs> some seriously big bands. I really have. Uh, not only here in New Zealand, but have travelled around the world with some uh, very, very big names as well. But uh, love, 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 of course, doing studio work. Now, uh, I, I see here, and this, this really got to me because I kind of do something similar, really. Uh, Jordan has lots of knowledge and passion for improving the quality of sound through, you know, the gal uh, delicacies of fine tuning and tracks to bring music to life. Now, I kind of do that myself. Um, having said that, I kind of take music as a DJ and absolutely just play with that. And I do things like mashups. You know what I mean? Yeah. And... Uh, well, you know, where, where there's supposed to be a, a bit of a lyric, well, you never know what might actually evolve out of that. <laughs> My staff here think I should actually build a show uh, on uh, some night and play these because they reckon they're really, really good. Now, I used to do it because not only was I working in radio, but I used to work in nightclubs as well. So I'd sit there in the recording studios and I'd take all the uh, top of the pop songs at the time and play with them, you know what I mean? And then I'd play yeah. those, and we had clubs where we were getting five to 8,000 people in every night, and uh, no better than uh, try out a bit of this and a bit of that on them. You know, something that they're familiar with, but uh, hold on, the lyrics aren't the same. You know? <laughs> Some, somebody, uh, and I was doing this for about five years before somebody called Giant Bunny sort of cottoned on to it. And, well, the rest is history. Everybody started doing it after that. <laughs> but true, I, I used to, uh, I still do. Uh, and believe me, there's times there where, uh, now, through this COVID virus, as you can relate, uh, being in isolation yourself, all of our staff had to go into isolation. So that left me here at the radio station, two studios, sound recording studio as well, and uh, reception, everything like that. I suddenly realised the value of each and every one of these people because I'm the only one here doing it, including my uh, IT guys. Believe me, every computer seemed to have its own issues. <laughs> so I got to know. I, I got to know. I'm sure each one of them is female too. Contan cantankerous things, they really are. It can be, you know what I mean? But I, I got to know each and every one's personality and keep everything running. But at the same time, there were times there, and believe me, I get to work about, say, midnight every morning, and uh, mm. I'm lucky to leave here 9, 10 o'clock at night, some nights. So, you know, wow. and, and it's not unusual to actually come in and find me sleeping on the, uh, on, on the lounge couch, you know, at the reception. <laughs> yeah. Because it's just not worth going home to get back up and come back again, you know what I mean? So exactly. that's how involved we are here at Galaxy. Anyway, having said that, there is times there, you know, one, two o'clock in the morning, you're waiting for downloads to come in, you're waiting for the uh, emails and everything, you're waiting to start stuff. You find a little bit of a respite there where you can actually go, hey, I was working on a song. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and these uh, poor staff members... Uh, they love this kind of stuff, apparently, and uh, think that I should put it on a, uh, put it on a show. And, uh, well, you know, I'm an artist. I don't really, you know, this is for me. I don't really like to expose it to anybody else or have anybody's critique of it or stuff like that. So, uh, you know, it's appreciated that they think that, but uh, it stays with me. So what I'm asking you is now, as you uh, get ready to go on stage, now, let's set the scene here. The band's playing, the crowd's out there making absolutely chaos. Lights, smoke, the whole deal. Just moments before you go on stage. Do you get the butterflies? 
Oh yes. Oh yeah. Believe me, I, I kind of do the same thing as well. And as I say to you, I can uh, entertain 5,000 people. I can entertain 105,000 people. I've done that before. You know the scariest one for me? Three uh, people? A hundred old timers. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh no, tough crowd. No kidding. I had to do a speech. <laughs> I had to do a speech for uh, the retired business association. Hundred old folks couldn't crack a single joke. To be honest with you, mate. No, couldn't. Brutal. Yeah, yeah, you know. And uh, whoever told me, don't worry about it. Just think they're naked. Hey. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> I I lost myself. <laughs> uh, me, I would too. That's ridiculous. So, Jordan Culpepper, please tell me all about lost myself. <laughs> that was a beautiful segue. Thank you. Um, <laughs> lost myself. So this song, another one that I've been working on forever. I've rewritten a couple times to make it work, but. This one comes from an experience I had, and I was, there's a, um, there was a few, there was this time where I was just dealing with a lot of stuff, and I didn't know how to deal with it, so I just disappeared. I, like, go in my car, and I drove away for a few days, and um, that's kind of, like, the essence of lost myself, but in the, the way, the, the outcome of it is, this record, this song helped produce it, and that moment helped produce everything that I've done. I ended up at this local venue called Track Degrees. They're in Chilliwack here, and it was an open mic, so I went up and played, and that was the first, that was actually the first time that I had played solo music. I'd always played in bands, but I was always the supporting guy doing backup vocals or just straight up electric guitar or something. So that was that was a moment for me, and it totally inspired me and put me down kind of the path that I'm going on. So that's where this song comes from. Well, i got to be honest with you, Jordan. Uh, continue what you're doing, please. Keep writing, keep recording, keep making music. Believe me, without people like you, I wouldn't have a job. I really, really wouldn't. So I need talented people like you. I think you are uh, very much on the precipice of actually becoming a name in the uh, very near future. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a label very, very shortly. But first of all, let's play Jordan, Cold Pepper and Lost Myself here at Galaxy. I, I mean this, my friend, I think that you have a future in this business. I really, really appreciate that. That's unreal. Well, look, I, I talked to... Well, I've done this once or twice. Let's just say that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. We're into our seventh year now of doing this, so believe me, I've spoken to a couple of bands over the years, and um, I've not only spoken to bands, but promoters to agents to managers to... You name it, across the board, you know? And yeah. I, I see talent all the time. We, as I said, we our image is everything. So we don't put second-rate nobodies on the show. You may be a an indie artist, but I don't think you're going to be an indie artist for long. I really don't. And I think somebody's going to pick up on you. Now, I want to talk to you about maybe, would, would you be interested in being approached by a label? I don't know. I've never put any thought into that. Okay. Now, I want to talk to Callum about this as well in the future. But we have a friend of ours in the UK. His name is Dr. John from Dr. John Surgeries Studios um, in Devon in the UK. He does big shows over there and he has a label. And uh, can we pass on your information to him. Can we introduce you, you guys? You can only but talk and just chat. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, it's, I mean, there's it's, no harm. There's no harm in that. Exactly. Yeah. As, as Barbara yeah. says, you can only but talk. You never know what might come of it. 
Yeah. But, but it's, you know, we get behind the artists we interview. Uh, by the way, I've got to warn you, you're now a part of the Galaxy family. I feel sorry for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we get behind you, we do promotions, we do everything within our powers to be able to get that next step in place. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And I'll let you know uh, how many people we have online. Uh, and believe me, um, we have 5,355,000 listings really? right now. So, um, believe me, we have a lot of people. I didn't want to tell you that right from the start in case your bum went tight. <laughs> Okay. I already knew. I, Kellen's told me how many people kind of come on in this, yeah. so I knew what I was getting into in that we, respect. We, we have a lot of listeners, and a lot of people will start to follow you, start yeah, like to want crazy to know more about you. countries like Uganda and Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Iran. And yeah, exa believe me, so Uganda is online this morning too. Um, so, so believe me, there's opportunities around the world. Now, we like artists only deal with reputable people okay and yeah john is a reputable man and if uh, i get barbara to introduce you guys don't hang up on him <laughs> okay okay just i mean bloody englishman's calling me oh, <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to the There's desk no harm in talking can i do it or not do it Here we go. See, 107 FM for after 12 o'clock. I know we've gone over time, but this is important. It really is. 14 degrees downtown, heading for that high of 15. Struggling right now. I think uh, I'm good. still standing by my 18 degrees prediction. I'm sure Barbara will stand by her 19. Mm. But, you know, you never know. I'm kind of scared the weatherman's actually coming close to winning. I <laughs> really am. Tuesday, June 16th, and absolutely elated to be joined by Jordan. Cold Pepper coming out of British Columbia, you know, till week actually. And uh, well, uh, I'm going to ask you something really, really just off the cuff actually. Um, will you come back again and uh, release new music with us in the future? Yes, I would. I feel sorry for you. You must be sadistic. I've been known to be a little nuts too, so. I like I vibe that. with you guys. I like that, I do you. <laughs> Fast becoming a favourite son of mine, you really are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let your mother know soon, alright? Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Having said that, have you got any, uh, re uh, any recordings that you plan on bringing back in the near future? Are you looking at putting together an EP? Are you looking at doing an album? Um, I'm working on putting out an album with the three songs that Lost Myself, We Are, and Love Somebody. That's going to go on, on an EP that's coming out in the next month or two, officially. And after that, there's no plan, but I'm writing, I'm starting, I've been writing some songs here and there. Okay. Putting something together. Okay. Now, having said that, do you have merch? Um, I, not yet. Not yet. I just ordered it. I just ordered it today. <laughs> yeah, it's like the checks in the mail. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get it. I do. But when you do get some merch, and, and believe me, we love to be able to do this because we would love to be able to do some giveaways. That keeps your name rolling here at Galaxy. More times that your name said, the more it gets through to our uh, five plus million listeners. 
and uh, before you know it, uh, you're a well-known young man. Now, I would like to be able to uh, recommend for you to consider this. There's a friend of mine in the UK. Now, he's quite an important person, to be very honest with you, and he uh, does a three-day festival show over there for people that are on the precipice of making it in the music industry. Okay, fair enough, they're still indie artists, but believe me, they're of a certain caliber, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think, Jordan, that you are of that caliber in the making, I really, really do. And I would like to have the honor of introducing you to Dr. John from Dr. John Surgery Studios in Devon. And, uh, well, whatever's said between you guys after that is said between you guys, but, uh, you never know what might actually transpire out of this. Not only does he know people in the uh, uh, it, through London and Britain and you know Scotland, Ireland, Wales, but also Germany, all the way across around the France and places like that. You never know the amount of work that you might end up getting. Now, coming to New Zealand, doing some shows here, doing some in Australia, then hitting uh, uh, the UK. Believe me. That might be yeah. a worthwhile tour now, if you consider it properly. And uh, I'm going to be talking to uh, Callum Sayef about this as well, uh, because I think integrating you two together, seeing you know each other's music, you, you don't know... Uh, well, you know it backwards. You, you record it for him. you know what I mean? So, yeah. I think it would be feasible and viable to have... Well, if you're not going to work on stage, then you're going to work the bloody desk. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, believe me, driving a desk truck is a lot of fun, it is. I, <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> I really do. Uh, but believe me, uh, I, I think it would be feasible to have you and uh, Callum down here in New Zealand and you never quite know what might knock on your door, especially if you've spoken to a couple of crazy Kiwis, you know what I mean? I feel like I can imagine at this point. <laughs> well, Dr. John, I, I absolutely recommend you do have a chat to him. Uh, having said that, uh, have you got any videos made yet? Not yet. That's uh, in the process of making some videos. Right after you buy merch, right? Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> once, once you've sold all your merch, now I, I recommend this. Uh, put your merch in a store on your website. Uh, because, believe me, people are going to find you. They're going to look for you. They're going to buy your products. They really, really are. And uh, believe me, one day it'll become collectible. I know it will. I do. Uh, that's the way you look at stuff, literally. You know, this is the first run of the first run. It's going to be collectible. Take yeah. it that way. Because, and that's the way you sell it, literally. You know, because Jordan, cold pepper, is on the rise in Galaxy and around the world in the music industry. Keep an eye out for him. He is going to be famous one day. And, believe me, I would love to be able to see you performing at the castle with uh, Dr. John's surgery and all of his staff and everything like that. It is an absolute fantastic experience. It really is. Uh, so I can recommend that. Now, why I asked about videos is I have a friend in Nashville. He has his fingers in all the pies and literally uh, can get your videos in all the places you need to get them. You know what I mean? The hard rock cafes, the floating palaces, all that sort of stuff, the malls, even Burger King. Yeah, scary, <coughs> scary thing you'd be sitting down eating a burger and suddenly you're looking at you, looking at you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And you go, hey, hold on, I was just writing a song and uh, you're interrupting me. Yeah. Uh, it, that's happened. So uh, we can introduce you to a, a good friend of ours called Steve Baker. A and believe me, if you would uh, consider, once you've made your movie or your video, getting in touch with him, you never know again where that might go. And uh, believe me, having said that, how would you like to, uh, next time you're next to a recordable 58, do a couple of downloads for me. Do a couple of liners like, uh, Hi, this is uh, Jordan Culpepper from British Columbia or from Chilliwack, British Columbia. 
you're listening to Galaxy 107 FM. Something like that. Yeah. Great. The reason, I can do that. The reason why I say that is we can add it to our system and again, the more time our fans hear your name, things happen. You know? It's all yeah. about the marketing. It's all about getting behind you. Now, uh, if you do have merch, send me some. Let me put on a T-shirt and, you know, subliminally, people who are watching the uh, Facebook thing, and you'll get a copy of this too, by the way. We'll transpose it over to YouTube, send you a copy of that. Barbara will even make a movie for you. Uh, yeah, uh, Not Enough will send you, uh, and uh, keep an eye out for Not Enough. She will send you a couple of photos very, very shortly, uh, backstage stuff. She's also the voice in my head right now. Uh, she'll send you that. Uh, we'll send you photos, all sorts of things. Photos that you can put on your wallpaper or your phone, show your friends, you know, go, oh, God, Kiwis, not healthy, don't do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bloody Kiwis. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's scary. Uh, but they've got no COVID virus. <laughs> oh, no, don't. <laughs> All that sort of stuff. And believe me, you, you'll get the uh, the movies, the videos and everything as well. And, uh, well, you know, strangely enough, personally, I wouldn't want to relive this experience by watching it on, on my device. I'd hit the bin button straight away. Yeah. I would. <laughs> Having said that, I've actually had people say to me, Grant, I've watched it about nine times and crack up every time. I'm going, what, as a sedative, do you, do, you watch, <laughs> do you watch it at night to send you to sleep or something? <laughs> That's weird. No, no. Hey. Oh, last job. Oh, look out. He's, he's, oh, he's, good. He, he's drunk in charge of a device. <laughs> you did say it wasn't just coffee in that cup. I did say that. I was... <laughs> I was listening, I was listening. Anyway, my friend, I'm going to have to wrap it up for now. Uh, and I've got to be yep. honest with you. Uh, thank you for being with us here at Galaxy. We would love to see you in the interviews. We will talk about that. Don't go anywhere just yet, because uh, we've got a couple of other things we're going to do. But, Jordan Culpepper, I think that you have a future in music. Don't give it up. Keep doing it. Will you do that for me? I will. Thank you. Nice. Thank you very much. Have a good evening, my friend. Don't go anywhere. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up for me for another day. I'll be back again 5.30 in the morning to take you through until about 10 o'clock. Have a very happy and successful day. Happy radio, everyone.